What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. As you can tell by the title of this video, it is of an adult nature. So if you don't want to hear this, go ahead and click off of this video. But if you're here for the title of this video, how to have a threesome, how to have a hookup a three-way, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen and listen to me right here. For those of you who are new here, my name is Luke. I do videos exclusively on travel in Mexico, specifically the red light district of Tijuana, Mexico, also known as Zona Norte. And I also do videos on the red light district of Bogota, Colombia, known as the Santa Fe. Guys, everybody knows two pieces of ass is better than one and four titties is better than two, okay? So if you're looking to have a great time, let me tell you how to hook this up and how to have the best time. After I talk to you about the red light districts and the strip clubs, I'm also gonna tell you how you can hook this up at a regular nightclub with regular girls. All right, guys, smash the like and subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. Guys, here's the thing. The worst thing you can do is walk into a strip club, let's say the Hong Kong Club in Tijuana, Mexico, or the Chicago Club at the Adelita Bar, and just pick two girls. I'll take you and I'll take you. Let's go upstairs. Guys, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna have any chemistry. And yeah, it's gonna work, but you're not gonna have any chemistry and it's not gonna be fun. You're not gonna be maximizing your good time. Guys, let me tell you what to do. There's two things you can do here. Number one, guys, you have to find a girl first that's bisexual or a lesbian at the bar. How do you do that? Ask a waiter. Hey, excuse me, man. Yeah, let me get a Bud Light. Hey, let me ask you a question. He's gonna say, what's up? Say, which girls here like other girls? Where are the lesbians at? He'll say, that girl in the red dress, that girl in the blue dress, that girl in the bikini. Okay, then you get one of those girls over there and let her make the decision on which girl she wants to be with. Think about that, guys. She's only gonna pick a girl that she really likes, a girl that she trusts, a girl that she's probably been with before, and a girl she's had a lot of chemistry with. That's how you do it. You don't go in there making decisions, okay? You might pick two girls that aren't really into girls. You might pick two girls that can't stand each other that are just going upstairs for the money and you're not gonna have a good time. So you definitely wanna let that girl pick the other girl. Now, not only do you let her pick the other girl, you set her down and you say, hey, guys, listen to me now. This is deep. You set her down and you say, hey, check this out. I'd like to go upstairs with another chick and you. I'm going to let you pick the other girl. I don't really want to negotiate it with the other girl. I'm going to let you be the boss. You handle everything. You tell me how much money you're going to charge and I'll give you all the money. I don't care if you give it all to her or if you give $2 to her. Just make sure I have a good time. Let me show you what you've done there, guys. You've removed yourself as the customer from the third girl, okay? Now, all of a sudden, all the third girl knows, or the third person, which is a girl knows, is that the other girl came to her and said, hey, that guy over there wants to go upstairs. I'm gonna give you X number of dollars. Let's go upstairs and party and have fun. Those chicks are gonna be into each other like that, okay? They're gonna be tied up like that. You're just gonna be the third wheel and you're gonna have all kinds of fun. Guys, let me tell you what my personal favorite is to do. And I'm throwing you guys a bone right here. I'm totally hooking you guys up with this line. What I like to do, and I know a lot of you guys have seen me down at the Adelita Bar or the Hong Kong Club, and you've seen me walk in with a girl that's maybe not the prettiest girl. Maybe she's a six or a seven on a scale one to 10. And you're thinking, Luke Powell of all people, why would you go to a bar in Mexico in the red light district that is full of beautiful girls? Why would you bring a six or a seven in there, okay? When the bar is full of eights, nines, and tens? Well, I'll tell you why, guys. Because when you bring that six or seven in there, all the bisexual girls and all the lesbian girls at that bar will immediately gravitate to her. They will run to her. They'll be on her like stink on shit, okay? And she's gonna feel flattered. She's into girls too. She's getting all this attention. And now all of a sudden, I'm the boss. I brought my lady into this bar and these other girls want to be with my lady. So I get to call the shots and we get to jump in and we get to have a good time together, okay? So I'm telling you right now, if you got a friend of yours that's into other chicks or that likes to go to strip clubs, don't mention anything about a threesome or anything unless you've done it before, obviously. Just take her, invite her, and let her do the work. Her and the girls will hook it up, trust me, okay? And if you've never done it before, let me tell you what's gonna happen. 
a girl will come over to your girl. They'll be talking. Your girl will get up and go to the bathroom. And then that's when you tell the stripper out of the presence of your girl, hey, this is what I'm trying to pull off tonight. I'll tip you good, yada, 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 okay? That's what you do. All right, guys, now let me fast forward to how to pull this move off at a regular bar, okay? Again, guys, it's all with the girl. You're not gonna be able to do it. Just think right now how hard it is for a guy to get up and go to a bar and have a one night stand. How hard it is for a guy to get up, get dressed, go to a bar, smash and dash, okay? That's very hard for a guy to do. It's not hard for a girl to do at all, okay? A girl can get dick anywhere, anytime she wants. She can go out, guarantee you she's gonna get laid, okay? So what you're gonna do in this situation is find a girl that's bisexual again, find a girl that like that's into chicks too, go to a bar. These girls know where the lesbian bars are. They know where the bisexual unicorns hang out, okay? So you're gonna invite this girl out. I like to go to a strip club first because it sets the mood and nine times out of 10, you can hit it right there. But if you don't get anything done there, you can venture out into a normal bar, okay, with one of these girls. Let her approach the other girls, okay? They'll be smiling at each other. They'll have all these kind of codes and things like that. You stay out of the way. Guys, don't talk, don't get drunk, don't get belligerent, don't stare. You just stay out of the way and keep the alcohol flowing. Keep paying for the drinks, okay? That's all you have to do. And let me tell you what's gonna happen. She's gonna go out, she's gonna talk to some girls, maybe even dance with those girls, and then you'll see them laughing and giggling, making eye contact, and then she'll point over there to you. All right, you know what usually happens to me the first two or three times, the girl just kind of shakes her head, but that's okay, because every no is that much closer to a yes, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get closer and closer and closer to this yes, and eventually you're gonna look over there and she's gonna shake her head yes. And then at that point in time, couple more drinks and it's time to get out of there okay guys if you're new here smash that like and subscribe button this is absolute fire i'm telling you right now how to hook up a threesome remember guys the women have the power here okay it's hard enough for you to go out and get laid by one girl much less talk two women into it at the same time let the girls make the decisions okay that's exactly what to do remember if you walk into a strip club especially in tijuana or in bogota talk to the waiters they will point you in the right direction, okay? Guys, any questions you might have, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Any other videos? I do want to tell you one thing to be warned about, and this really only happens with the street girls in Tijuana, Mexico. If you go and you pick a girl off the street and you pick another girl off the street and you say, hey, two at the same time, they'll say yes, and they'll go upstairs with you, and they'll quote you a ridiculous cheap price, and then when you get upstairs, they'll be like, oh, no, we don't do threesomes. You can do one and the other one will watch. Or you can do one and then you can do the other one. But you have to change protection. You have to change condoms. That's exactly the bullshit they'll pull on you, okay? So I'm telling you right now, if this is your fantasy, which is every guy's fantasy, go to the Adelita Bar, go to the Hong Kong Club, go to the um, Chicago Club, and do exactly as I told you how to do it, okay? Remember, guys, there's two things, two ways to do things in Zona Norte. First way is your way and your way sucks. The second way is my way. Guys, I appreciate the subscriptions. Any questions you have, let me know. Hit that comment section down below if I missed anything or if I screwed anything up. Super appreciate you guys. We'll see you down the road.